Welcome back to Swiss Medical. Uh, can I start off with your name and where you're from? My name is Patrick Van Bentham and I'm from the UK, uh, Sussex, Eastbourne, uh, South Coast. And how old are you? 57. Okay. Uh, what was your diagnosis? I was diagnosed in 2006 with primary progressive multiple sclerosis. Okay. And um, since uh, diagnosis, I suppose the first eight or nine years, my progression was slow. And then in the last couple of years, my progression has speeded up and I've gone from, I had to pack up work, I was roofing for a job, I packed it up, um, obviously I found my balance was getting dodgy and I don't want to be falling off of roofs. So um, yeah, I packed it up, uh, finished the business up and uh, now obviously I don't do any work but I still do a few phone calls from home, you know, work-wise. and. Um, I went to uh, see my neurologist at King's College in London about, you know, because I'd gone downhill quickly. So he then said, right, we'll give you uh, a scan, MRI scan, and if it's, um, we find that, you know, there are more lesions, it has progressed that much, then uh, we'll get you some treatment sorted out. And I said to him, well, what treatment is there? you know, for the MS. And um, he said, and he said to me about stem cells. So, it's, and I knew about stem cells, you know, obviously I'd done a bit of research. And um, so, he's got me going, got my brain going about the stem cells. So, I had the, the scan, and when it came back, it turned out that it wasn't bad enough, and I didn't fit the criteria to have the stem cell treatment in the UK. But my brain is still whizzing about stem cell treatment. So I've looked on the internet and I've found Swiss Medica. And um, having spoken to um, a couple of previous patients from Swiss Medica and um, their experiences and how much better they are, um, then um, I decided, right, you know, I'm going to go for it. So I've paid for the treatment, and I've come and had it. And after the first lot of treatment, um, I did some interviews for UK television. The first interview, obviously, was a before, and they filmed me going up my stairs at home. Difficulty because I had to lift this leg and swing it out because my right leg has always been a lot worse. Um, and then afterwards then I could lift my leg like I'm, you know, I could lift my leg now. I couldn't do that before. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't swing my foot up. So, uh, obviously, things have got a lot better. So, um, I decided to, to come back again. And um, Swiss, Swiss Medica offered me the treatment, copious gratis, for the work I was doing for the publicity, I was gaining them on British television. Okay. Um, so uh, here I am back again, and also when I returned home, the television company are coming again to interview me and um, to put another program on the television. Okay. So there's more, you know, more advertising. It gives more good pub publicity for Swiss Medica. I can't fault it. I can't fault it. The service you get here, the, the food, everybody's happy, always happy to see you, always smiling. They never, you know, nothing is too much. Nothing is too much trouble. Good. Everybody is friendly. So, there, what more? Perfect. Uh, do you want to talk about how you were before you came for your first treatment? So, your leg, how much movement you had in your right leg? Um, well, it's always because I'm left handed, right footed and cack-handed I call it um, and the symptoms have always been worse with uh, the pins and needles mobility in my left hand and my right leg I've suffered with foot drop you know going upstairs um, 
But then when it started getting really bad, not only could I not move my foot up like that, but I couldn't, um, I couldn't drive a car because I couldn't get my foot from the accelerator to the brake. I can now, although I drive an automatic anyway because I brake with that foot. Yeah. So. Uh, Do you want to show how much movement you have in your right leg? Yeah, I could do that. When um, <coughs> one of the doctors came to examine me, mm -hmm. he um, lifted my leg up into that position and he said, hold it there. So left leg, no problem. And then he said, right, we'll do it with the right leg. So he lifted my leg up to, to this position and he said, okay, hold it. And I held it like that. Whereas before, he let it go and it just dropped. So there's definitely a difference. And when I, when I go upstairs, I can lift my foot rather than, you know, having to swing it out to, go up, to get it up the stairs. So you find your da daily activities much easier now? With, yeah. So you can I, move around, you can... I do, yeah, standing up, yeah. You see it, okay. I'm getting about. But I, I still need, if I'm, if I'm walking around in here, I'm okay, because I've got the walls, walls I, can, okay, yeah. I can bounce off. But if I'm out in the open yeah, and I need um, a bit of stability, okay. then I take a stick. But sometimes I find that a stick throws me off. Okay, so you push it off and yeah, it yeah, throws count, me off counter, balance, yeah, counter, so counter balancing. Uh, you also had a previous back injury? Well, yeah. That dates back to 1990. I um, suffered a prolapse disc and um, I've always had back problems since then. Yeah, but when I was younger and I was, I was working, I was always working outside on the built using my back, the muscle grew very strong around the damaged area and my physiotherapist in the UK said that um, it's your body's way of repairing around the damaged area. Yeah, so it was holding, holding my back together with the muscles really, yeah, although it was still a bit painful, mm -hmm. but then now with the MS, now I'm not doing anything. I can't do anything. Yep. My back pain has really, really got bad. Wherever I was laying, sitting, I couldn't get comfortable without the pain. Going from sitting to standing position, yeah, it was in pain. But Ivan, the physio here, he has, um, well, I've had stem cells injected into my back, so hopefully if they do the trick well they won't cure it because you know there's no disc there but they will soften the pain yeah and some of the infusions i've been having and painkilling remedies that he's been on he's been giving me uh, magnetic treatment on my back and electronic pulses and it all seems to be uh, doing the doing the trick okay. yeah so how have you have you found the service at swiss medical how I found the service. Brilliant. I would recommend it to anybody. Anybody thinking. Anybody thinking of, you know, coming. I know the situation of people are in with MS and they think, I'm never going to get better. There's nothing I can, they can do for me. Well, I know it won't work for everybody, the treatment, because obviously MS is different in every case, that the treatment won't work for everybody, there's no 100% guarantee, but if you've got the money to pay for the first treatment, I would say go for it. Because if you don't, you'll always think, you'll, you know, you'll be gradually going downhill really quickly, like I was, and I've stopped now, I've, I've hit the plateau and I'm not getting any worse at the moment. So, I would say, you know, if you can, go for it. Because if you don't, you'll always say, cool, I wonder what would have happened if, I had a, if I'd have had it done, yeah? So you would, you would recommend Swiss Medical? I would definitely, yeah. It's a, from the UK, it's a short flight, it's a direct flight from Heathrow, yeah? They get wheelchair assistance, they pick you up in an ambulance, they drive you here. And once you're here, you're in their care and you don't have to have a care in, care in the world. They look after you, they feed you, there's a 
great menu here for food. Yeah, it's like a like a hotel rather than a hospital.